Hey everyone, in this video we're visiting a really unique 15 foot long tiny house with wings. The wings are actually two swinging bump outs that can be open when the tiny house is parked and they widen the home from 8.5 feet to 12 feet wide so it becomes almost square. It's built with nearly 100% recycled and reclaimed materials and the beautiful woodwork including custom windows and doors was all lovingly handcrafted by Nick and his friend Jay on Salt Spring Island in BC. They're going to give us a full tour and show us how the swing bump outs work, so let's go check it out. So the tiny house is 15 feet long by eight and a half feet wide, and uh, we built it with two bump outs. So to pop out the wing, one person needs to be on the inside while the other person's waiting on the outside. So I'll go in here and I'll push it open and then the other person grabs the board as it slides out when it loosens and then you flip the barge board upside down and bolt it right here to the to the posts so the same barge board holds it out and also holds it in when you're driving once the wing is pushed out and locked in you plug it in here it's like a, the whole kitchen is wired as a single appliance. So it just plugs right into the wall. And then that powers the counter lights, the toaster oven, whatever you choose to have, any appliances you have, and the uh, induction cooktop. On the bottom of the wing, there's two places, one where the hose goes in, and then one where you can attach a PVC pipe and continue the gray water to wherever you desire. And then I changed the fittings on the inside of the plumbing so that you can literally just send the hose right up and then fasten it directly to the faucet. So the wood stove is the main source of heat, although there's two circuits in here. So there's one power outlet in this corner in case you wanted an oil radiator. But this thing heats it up pretty good. Right here is the sort of chaise lounge area. Basically this is like a big storage area. The panel, the electrical panel is at the back. But I built this open like that so you can put all your firewood in here. And you can fit um, at least a few days worth of firewood in there at a time. Uh, and all the windows open up. These are all handmade windows. So it gets pretty cooking by the wood stove. So it's nice to have that there. On the tongue of the trailer, we built this. That's basically filling in the, the radius behind the truck, you know, that you, so you can get as close to the truck as possible without hitting it when you turn. This wing comes in this far, so this whole section moves in, which uh, allows for quite a bit of storage underneath is good. There's not too much storage in here. It's just a double bed. All the glass up here is tempered as well so it's pretty nice in here. You can lay down and you can see the stars when, you, when you're in bed. Yeah, I didn't build a bathroom into this one because it's too small. I feel like it would just be weird to have a bathroom. This is like a really open space and that was kind of what the design was for. But on Salt Spring, the, the people mostly live on community farms with something like this, and there's outbuildings, bathrooms, and showers already there, so kind of fits the, the land here well. It started with a, with a drawing. The blueprints are just one drawing, kind of like a little cartoon. What I have here, let's see, this one is the was like the scale, so we could get the profile. And it's just inch to foot scale. And then these are kind of just like the idea. It's pretty close to what it is now, except for the closet. There's no closet, it didn't fit. Otherwise, I think it's pretty close. Yeah, we used all recycled materials for it, basically because we built it on like a super tight budget. It's like all labor man hours. Uh, I, I guess I've always built with salvaged materials and I kind of get a kick out of salvaging. It's one of my bigger hobbies. It's a 1970s trailer that I tore down a couple of years ago and refinished all the steel. 
and uh, changed the axle so it's got a beef axle now and we're just finishing now changing the leaf springs so it's got big leaf springs from an old uh, motor home like an RV. The roof is reclaimed metal from from the house that we renovated on this property actually. It was pretty grubby and we had to scrub it for three days I think to get it looking all right but it's solid metal and it looks like a copper patina color which I really like. The insulation is all one and a half inch rigid foam and all of the rigid foam is salvaged. All of the wood actually and the whole thing is salvaged material. So all of this stuff is all like clear fur that we just refinished and polished up. Sourcing materials wasn't that difficult, but building the swings was the most difficult part. The way the whole thing works structurally is first we built these two beams. It's all like uh, laminated at the joints. So these were freestanding. We built these first and installed them. And then it's basically like a swing set. So at this pivot point here, that supports this whole section on both sides and they swing in like this and uh, this super crucial part keeps it out otherwise it would collapse in like that. It took a while to figure out how to waterproof the bump outs but basically what we've done is uh, this panel here this is like the wall of the bump out so this isn't as thick as it looks there's a there's a concaved little ditch in there. If any water gets in there, it's it's an interior gutter system that the water goes down and then it hits the barge board and kicks off. I really like uh, tiny spaces just for the simplicity of living in them. Also, the, from a d design perspective, I find it kind of, it's like a much bigger challenge to fit everything that you need into a small space and have it feel big. And they're so efficient. Tiny houses are so efficient. I've built a lot of tiny houses so far, but this is the first one I've built to, to sell, basically. Most of them I just live in for a short period of time and then I get bored of them and I want to build a new one. Um, but I think we're going to build a, a lot more, maybe not this design, because this was incredibly time consuming, but I just really wanted to make one that was this wide, so it feels kind of like a regular cabin. If you want to find out more about this tiny house, Nick is actually selling it right now, and you can find him on Instagram at k.nac. Please share this video if you liked it. Be sure to check out our playlist to see more tiny house tours. And thank you so much for watching.